Hey everyone, I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and welcome to my neighborhood drive through series. In this series, I like to go through all the neighborhoods here in the Las Vegas Valley, including North Las Vegas, and maybe possibly Henderson. <laughs> but today, we are taking a tour of Tule Springs, um, no, the villages at Tule Springs. All right, so this community, um, is in North Las Vegas. I just got off of the 215, headed south on 215 off of Revere, Revere Street to be exact. So we're gonna go through this community. I'm gonna talk about the builders and everything about this community. So there are, or there were, at one point in time, only three builders in this community. You had Party, e, which is now TriPoint Homes. Then you had Cal Atlantic, which is now Lennar Homes and then KB Homes. So we're gonna drive through this community and go over all the different builders that were here. Now, there's this Tanglewood, I just discovered it. On my research, there was no Tanglewood, so I don't know who the builder is. I'm gonna have to further investigate and put it on my website. Um, if you wanna learn more about Tule Springs, the villages of Tule Springs, just go to my website, neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com to learn more about it. So we're just gonna drive around and look at the different um, areas and go through some, if we can, of the different neighborhoods because some of them are gated, so unfortunately we don't have access to them because they are locked. So now in between this is gonna be Clayton, Deer Springs and Revere Street. But the villages at Tule Springs is split into four different villages. And you have village one and two, which is going to be on the north side of the 215. And I don't know if right now there's houses there just yet. And then you have villages three and four. So in village three, you have those three builders that I talked about. You have Tanglewood as a community. You have Stone Creek, Lemire, Blackstone, and there's a couple others. So we're going into Stone Creek right now. This is a gated community and it's by Lennar Homes. Whoa, dude. In this community, they do have a community pool, which is nice. And they also have three different collections. So Lennar had three different collections, or I would should say Cal Atlantic at the time. Um, and those collections are Crossings Collection, Landings Collection, and the Peaks Collection. And they all vary in size. Some of them have next-gen suites. Some of them are single-story, three to five bedrooms. Some of them are over 3,000 square feet, etc. I'm not going to go into quite all the details about all the different square footage. Just so you know, if you want to learn more, I will post a link at the bottom in the description so you can learn more about this particular neighborhood. Now, because they have the three collections, you would think that they would be separated by each collection. Maybe they are, but I can't tell because there's no signs indicating which collection is what. So it looks like maybe part of the faces were one collection, another collection, etc. but that is not the case. The nice thing about these homes is, unlike some Lennar homes that I've seen in the past, is that they do have a lot of awesome different um, elevations. So we see a lot of different masonry work, brickwork on these homes, which is really nice. I'm gonna take a video real quick. Ooh, I dropped it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Today's not my day no, for making good. videos. I am very <laughs> sloppy today. <laughs> Come on. Alrighty, let's get a look at these houses. Oh, it's Halloween. Well, it is October, so by the time you watch this, it may be November, December, January. Who knows when I'm gonna post this video. Houses are nice though over here. I like the fact that they have their own community pool, which is very nice. 
Now, when we came into the neighborhood, there was a new community by Richmond American. Um, I can't remember the name of it. All my research has never mentioned anything about that community as being part of the villages at Tule Springs. So that is a good question is if this will be or not be part of this master plan community. Oh, I just noticed that. It's a little park area. That's nice. I gotta see what Tanglewood, I, I think Tanglewood used to be KB. I, I want to wholeheartedly think that's a KB community. So then you have Laramar right here to the left, which is all by TriPoint Homes, or at the time, Party Homes, when this was built. And then to the right is Stone Creek. That's a big community. Unfortunately, Laramar is gated, and I don't have access into it. Luckily, Stone Creek, the gates were still open. So to the left is Laramar. And then to the right is also another community called Blackstone, which is also by TriPoint Homes or, again, Party Homes. So we're going to go down Deer Springs, and there's a couple other um, neighborhoods in this community. There's a new one called Azure Park by TriPoint Homes and it just recently opened. I do believe the models opened last month or so. We're just going to briefly go through it since it's still open. It seems like TriPoint has a lot of communities up in here. There's not much to it right now and I will have to come up here and do some videos one day if I ever get time. Or maybe by the time you watch this I will have the videos. There's no point in driving through this community because there's nothing here. So the Villages at Tule Springs is one of the largest master plan communities in North Las Vegas. It is in the 89084 and the 89086 zip code. I'm not quite sure if it's as large as Aliante. I think it's um, going to be as large, if not larger. To the left is the new North Las Vegas police station. So the village of Tule Springs groundbreaking was in 2017, but construction began in 2018. Um, and when it's all said and done, there's going to be over 8,600 homes. And from what I saw online, it says with 2,000 of those homes reserved for an active adult community. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know what that active adult community is. So eventually there may be an active adult community in this master plan. Just gonna go down real quick, look at this other Toll Brothers, I mean, I'm sorry, TriPoint community. So this is called Indigo, again, by TriPoint. And you can tell the difference between a TriPoint build is because of the different architectural design. They're very unique compared to a lot of other builders. Let's take a video. They don't look the same. They have um, an A-line, roof line. Some of them are a little more contemporary. But I really like the look of these party or TriPoint homes better than any of the builders. So Village 1 and 2 um, is north of the 215 Beltway. 
and it's bordered along the Eglinton Preserve, which is part of the 22,260-acre Tule Springs Fossil Beds, um, which is a national monument. And as of now, I don't think there are homes on the other side of the 215 for the villages at Tule Springs. I think eventually there will be. But right now there is nothing. They are building a 40 acre park and it's called Tule Springs Regional Park. And we're gonna go buy it right now. And this park is gonna take a couple of years to fully build out, but they're gonna have a lot of amenities at this park. We're gonna take a left back here on Durrell. So right now we are in Village 3, which is the southwest corner of this community. So right here you have Seasons at Fullerton Cove. I'm not sure if this is part of Truly Springs or not. Nowhere on the American Richmond American website does it indicate that it's part of the villages at Truly Springs. So here's the park. That's going to be huge. They say it's larger than the um, Discovery Park, but not as large as Craig Ranch Park. And let me tell you, North Las Vegas knows how to do parks right. Um, they do a phenomenal job of their parks. It's gonna be a splash pad, picnic tables, basketball courts. Uh, let's see what else are the other uh, things that they're gonna have in this park. Three soccer multi-use fields, four baseball, softball fields, a playground, splash pad, basketball courts, sand volleyball courts, trails, shade structures, and restrooms. That's a lot. I mean, I like North Las Vegas parks better than even Summerlin parks. So now, Village 4 is where we're going to go. And to get there is a little tricky. So the best way I know to get to Village 4 is to head back on Revere, get back on the 215, and head east on the 215 to 5th Street. Because for some reason, you got this little middle section that has very little homes, which has that indigo community. And then, for some reason, the other part of Village 4 is KB, which is um, Saddlebrook Reserves and Saddlebrook Landings. So we're gonna get back on the freeway and go to 5th Street and then check out that. And there's no way to really, I don't know how, and I don't can't use my Google map right now to connect from here to there. So we're just gonna get on the freeway, sit back, talk to you in a minute. Okay, we just got off of the 5th Street. It's amazing how much they have built out here and how much shopping conveniences they have over here. Excuse my voice. <clears throat> it's amazing, don't you think? Alright, so we're going to get back on Durrell. Yeah, it's funny because Durrell doesn't go all the way through. Huh. 
We were just here. So weird. Where the freak is it? No, because we were just here. Why don't I just go this way? I've been up here because I've sold the house in this community. <laughs> I'm going to have to pull over in a minute and uh, Google where it's at because when I did research, it said Fifth, North 5th Street and Dorrell. And we are North 5th Street, or now we're on Dorrell. So this is quite interesting. So Linmar, I saw that. Oh, it's Richmond American Homes. Okay, I should have taken a left on Durrell instead of a right. Linmar is Richmond American, but that is definitely not part of the villages of Tule Springs. All right, folks. This is what happens when you can't use Google Maps. You have to use your memory. The school that we're passing to the right is called Legacy High School. So that's good to know that, um, you know, if you do move in this master plan community, that there's a high school super close by. Not certain what other schools are close by, what elementary schools or junior high, but I do know that there's a high school right there. So I find it interesting that for this villages at Tule Springs, they split it. So in the middle between Revere Street and North Fish Street, there's really nothing that's the villages of Tule Springs. But then on the other side, which is kind of interesting, they have um, the KB homes and they call that villages of Tule Springs. My directions just tell me take a left on Durrell when you pass Saddlebrook at okay let's see if it's over here I like all the shopping that's nearby because even you got all this here you got shopping on Decatur you have shopping on Jones you have shopping on Aliante Parkway there's a lot of shopping okay here we go finally making progress continues right here. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I need to get that sign when we're done. Picture of it. So this is a whole KB community. It's called um, Saddlebrook and you have reserves and landing. I sold um, in the reserves. I do believe. I can't remember. Oh yeah. I sold down this way. I remember coming over here to do the walkthrough. And the nice thing is this park is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a very large complex and I think um, landings is still selling. I think reserves is sold out. Let me find out for sure. Yes, landings is still selling and they have four different floor plans to choose from ranging in size between $14.55 to $24.69. Oh, and they're going to have a school on site. So that's cool. I do believe it was this neighborhood and I think it's that house right there let me see no it's a couple houses down 
Yep, it's the brown house. <laughs> you can say hi to my clients. <laughs> All right. Oh, they kind of decorated for Halloween. Now that floor plan, I don't remember the square footage. I did do a video of it on YouTube. It had two master suites. One was downstairs and one was upstairs. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then had a huge loft. It was at least 2,900 or 3,000 square feet. Let's get some video of these houses. Nice neighborhood. I like it. It's very clean. Of course, it's brand new, but so this is actually reserves at Saddlebrook, and the square footage of these houses was 1550 to 3050, and they had one and two story homes at the time when they sold, and so that house that my clients bought was probably the 3050, with three to six bedrooms, two and a half to five bathrooms. Don't you find it interesting that they split it and so in the middle there's no village at Tule Springs and then it's on the opposite side so I don't I don't understand that logic um, but who am I I'm not a designer I like the fact that they have a park in this community and that there's gonna be a school site so that's very very family oriented I'm gonna stop and take a peek at the park do a quick video of it and then we will conclude this tour. Okay, let's take a peek at this park. That's where the future site of the school. So it's pretty cool that this community, all these are KB homes around the whole entire neighborhood. And I like that they have a, a park inside it. It's actually quite awesome. And the picnic areas, the covered play area. Look at those mountains, it's beautiful. I don't know if this is a pickleball court or a tennis court. Looks like a normal sized tennis court. Nice basketball court though. Kids need to be out here playing. It's two o'clock. Nice. I like this park. Oh, and they have a dog park too. So that's another thing I've noticed while I've been out doing these videos is a lot of these parks in the Northwest at least have two different dog parks area. They have one for the big dogs and one for the small dogs. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to take a couple of photos of these things and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay. That was a nice little stop. So I think I've covered everything. Um, let me know in the comments if I've missed anything about this master plan community. Um, 
as I said, there were three builders in this master plan community. There's KB Homes, Cal Atlantic, or Lennar, and then Party or TriPoint Homes. And it looks like KB has this part over here to get to the KB Saddlebrook. You just um, go off of the North 5th Street to Revere and take a left on Durrell. I mean, it's North 5th Street, left on Durrell. So this is landings at Saddlebrook. So it looks like they may have a few houses left at the landings and they may have some left. This is usually the gardens when they are so close together like this, but this could still be the landings as well. Um, so I've, again, I just find it interesting that this was separated from all the other builders. Thank you for visiting Saddlebrook. <laughs> anyway, folks, let me know what you think of my neighborhood drive through tours. If I should continue doing these or just say, you don't do a very good job, Angela. Just kidding. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.